Facebook is changing its news feed so users will see more information from family and friends rather than news stories from traditional news sites. Irish people are increasingly getting their online news via social media rather than directly from news sites. This poses challenges for traditional news organisations in terms of brand loyalty and income. 86% of Irish people access news daily but are increasingly doing so online and not just from the original source but via social media. Facebook is a platform but you don't say I read an Irish Times or an RT story on Facebook. You say I read a story on Facebook and this is how people explain it and that's how they, they think of not just Facebook but again I saw the news break on Twitter. Now Twitter didn't break the news, the accounts on Twitter did. Facebook has now announced that content posted by family and friends will feature higher in an individual's news feed than informative articles. It's another twist in an increasingly complex relationship with traditional news broadcasters who need social media to carry their stories but also need their own brand recognised. Somebody has to pay for news and if they're not brand aware on social media then you can't sell the, the ads on it and so who's actually going to pay for all this content that's being put up for free on social media. News organisations say they have to make their brand as recognisable and trustworthy as possible in the hope the audience will return to them. Branding is something that public service broadcasters have never been traditionally strong on on the basis that they expect that the audience will differentiate. Um, the rules of engagement are now changing so branding and the sense that this is coming from a responsible trusted source is something that news organisations have to be more and more conscious of. As the dramatic events unfolded in the UK last Friday, 77 million pages of the Guardian newspaper were viewed. The paper has now directly appealed to its readers to support what it termed thoughtful, well-reported journalism through a monthly contribution or one-off payment. Other news organisations will have to map their own future in a world where many people want to read and talk about the news, but not everyone will pay. Sinead Crowley, RTE News.